no, 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 cut! Listen, Vinny. No, no, put down the sides, please. I need you to go run some lines with somebody because I need you off book by tomorrow and call, okay? Because I, I, I really, I can't afford to fix everything in post. All right, now everyone back to one. Where's the PA? Or somebody from Crafty, I want a bagel. Right about now, I bet you wish you had someone translate for you. I'll have some fresh quinoa, please. Hey, what's up? I'm Vinnie Horst, and this is The Starting Actor. I am an actor starting out in the industry, sharing my practical advice and real-world experiences. So, if you are new here, consider subscribing. So if, like what Mr. VoiceOver said, you didn't understand what Mr. Director was saying, then let's break it down one by one. Of everything that the director said, I suspect that this is something that you understand. When the director yells cut, that means that the actors stop acting, the camera operators stop recording the video, and the sound engineers stop recording the sound. And then the rest of the crew, well, they get ready for the next scene or the next take that we are going to do. Pickups. Pick up from where you left off. Pretty straightforward. When you're recording and you've made a mistake, we will pick it up and resume where we were. So you'll hear this more in the voiceover industry than on film, but I have heard it definitely on the film sets. Sides, yes, of course. This is the one that confused me. I still don't quite understand why they're called sides, but maybe you can let me know in the comments below. Sides are the pages from the full script that you are given to audition with. So it's 50-50 as to whether or not you will hear the word sides used on set. Some people do, and they use it synonymously to mean the same thing as script. An example of how you might see this in an email is, Hi Vinny, I'd like you to audition for the part of Vinny. No, audition for the part of Peter. Please see the attached sides. Running lines. Okay, so you will definitely hear this one on set. Before arriving on set, you have practiced your lines at home, made sure that you understand exactly what you're going to say and how to say it. You have never actually said them with another actor before unless you're actually practicing with perhaps your teacher. Once you arrive on set, you can run lines with your scene partner. That is, you're practicing the actual scene with him. The director said that I needed to be off book, which means I need to be off of my script. I need to have everything memorized. So the opposite of that is on book. If you still need your script because you don't know your lines yet, you're going to be on book. Call time. Yes, ah, that one is near and dear to my heart. I remember the first time that I learned about the word call time. I was so excited to arrive on my first gig that I got there an hour and a half early and I got some strange looks and one of the guys said dude call times like in 90 minutes from now and I'm like yeah yeah I know it's it's gonna be great so what is call time call time is the time of day that they want you on set to start your work day pretty straightforward so when the director says that I need to learn my lines by call what he's saying is that Vinny you better go home tonight learn all your lines and by the time you get here in the morning you better know them. Post. Okay, this one might have confused you. It actually doesn't have anything to do with building a fence or playing the post position in basketball. In fact, it has to do with post production. Post is short for post production. So what's pre-production? Pre-production is before the film is filmed. Production is during the filming and post production is after the filming. So when the director says that he can't fix everything in post, what he's saying is that he wants me to get my lines right during the filming so he doesn't have to fix them in post-production. Back to one. This one needs a bit of explanation. So as an actor, when you are acting, the director will tell you first where to start. That's your first position. And they will say, as you say the lines, move over here and then move over here and so on. Depends on the complexity of the scene, but generally you're not standing in one place the whole time. So in this case, when the director says back to one, he's saying to everybody, please go back to your original spots and let's start over. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Be nice to your PA, okay? What is a production assistant? I think actually the better question is what isn't a production assistant? A production assistant helps with everything. They are the grease to the wheel. It's an important part of the production. If you need something, you talk to the PA. They do things like typing data into a computer, fetching coffee if you need some. If you need a Kleenex, talk to the PA. If you need to call the makeup artist over, Talk to the PA. They do things to help others. So do yourself a favor and be nice to your PA because if you need something and you've been kind of a pain in the butt to your PA, yeah, you might be on your own. And finally, my favorite one of the whole bunch, Crafty. What is Crafty? Well, Crafty is just short for craft services. You mean that's not clear? 
Okay, well, craft services are the people that feed you and water you. So once again, just like the PA, you better be nice to Crafty. So there you have it. That is a complete breakdown of whatever the director was mumbling about, which brings us to the question of the day. What is the really weird or interesting thing that you heard while you were working on set? Leave me a note in the comments below. Well, that's a wrap. I'm Vinny Horst, and this is The Starting Actor. If you liked what you saw here today, hit that like button and consider subscribing. We'll talk to you soon.